Um, I know there aren't any dates in the press release, Professor Palmer. When it, when is uh, when is all this going to happen? Uh, when, when, when do you think and that first voyage no, will no be? Dates, I, I don't see any dates for a maiden voyage. When well, there's, well, there's been plenty of dates, you know, put out there. We're looking in the third quarter of uh, 2016 at the moment, which will put us about six years ahead of the original ship in times of conceiving and construction. So it's an ambitious program, but it, uh, we're better to set our sights higher. Uh, to make sure we get there. I'm getting older too. When do you expect construction to start? Uh, well, construction's already started in the context of actually being, building the ship. We'll probably start sometime this year. We're trying to aim it towards the end of this year, starting the construction. But we've, we've already started the um, process of, of acquiring the materials required to build it and doing the contracts. We've got about 250 people who have been working on this project around the world already. When do you need to lay the keel? Well, we think we can do that by you know, later this year, you know? around about December this year, we're looking at doing that. Yeah. So they'll give us a construction time of around, um, you know, two, a bit over two and a half years, I think. But if it takes longer, it'll take longer, but we'll still do it because we've got a big pile of money and we'll keep on spending it till we get there. And that's how it works in a capitalist system. You all live in New York, you know. So, yeah, it's, that's what we're going to do. Professor Palmer, are you funding this yourself completely? Or well, are you know, the other investors? Uh, <laughs> I'm funding this myself because I, I want to spend the money I've got before I die, you know? which is a reasonable proposition. If you work hard for 40% you know, or 50% of your life, you may as well spend it, not leave it to the kids to spend. There'll be enough left for them anyway. So, you know. So I'm sure we've got more than adequate financial capacity to complete this ship. We've got a resort on the, on the Sunshine Coast where we're going to have a dinosaur park. And uh, some journalist decided we're going to clone dinosaurs and have a Jurassic Park. It was news to me. Suddenly I got about 100 applications from scientists from the United States and Europe wanting to clone dinosaurs. You know, so, you know, uh, but you, know, you, you can never underestimate the power of journalism, you know, really to meet their deadlines to get a story for the next day. And, uh, there's no truth in that whatsoever. Well, we we're uh, cutting the steel on the first ship. Um, I think it's in April, right? That's already been set up, and we've signed the contracts for them. They're fully financed, fully funded, and they'll be starting to be delivered by. Um, uh, I think the first quarter next year, the first ship is delivered by then, um, something like that. And where do they go from? I mean, they they'll they'll, uh, they'll be 64,000 ton bulk carriers, which they'll take uh, carrying nickel to our nickel refinery in North Queensland, and um, we'll be operating those ships. We, we currently use about 17 ships at the moment to uh, bring nickel from Indonesia, uh, Philippines, and New Caledonia to our refinery, and we'll be replacing some of those ships. Those are cruise ships, cargo ships. cargo ships, yeah. yeah I, have, I have been on a few <laughs> cruises, you know. I, I was actually, I retired when I was about uh, 28 or so. I thought I'd made enough money to retire, so I thought that I could just spend it, but all my friends had to had to have mortgages. I had no one to talk to, so everyone says go on a cruise. So I went on the Kiwi Two cruise, and um, I remember JR's mother. I've forgotten what her name was now, but she was there giving us a lecture, and everyone said, "Oh, let's go up to the the uh, fitness course." So I went up to the uh, next. I was 29. I went up to the um, to the gym, and there's about 500 people. A lot of them Americans sitting there. We're all sitting in our chairs, and the um, the instructor came out and she said, "Right, everybody, you're sitting down." Raise your left arm and hold it. Raise your right arm and hold it, sort of thing. They're all about over 80, so I thought, well, I better not go on any more cruises. So, you know, I went back to work. That was my inspiration to get off the cruise ship, you know. But that, was a, that wasn't a Titanic. You know, that didn't have the inspiration to create the romance that exists in Titanic. So, you know, that wasn't really, really what you're after. But that was the last cruise ship I was on. Of course, I've got a few yachts and things, you know. Just wondering what... Uh what prompted, you know, what was the inspiration? Were you sitting at home one day having a barbecue and you thought, let's do... I was having a beer, James, with a few of the journalists in oh. Brisbane. <laughs> now, what it was, was um, I was up in China and we've got quite a lot of large projects with the state-owned companies in China and we're talking about, well, how will we break into the world um, cruise ship construction market because they've been very successful in bulk constructors and I said the comment, would well, someone, somewhere, at some time, should build Titanic again in this century, right? Because I believe there's a need and a hunger for it in the world, right? And the, the Chinese guys looked at me and said, well, here's the contract, get on with it, you know? Yeah. So we signed an MOU and away we went. And, uh, 
you know, I was very much surprised by the amount of interest, and uh, and uh, for me, it, the, the financial commitment wasn't one that necessarily required a good profit. But unfortunately, I just keep making money at everything I seem to do. It now looks like this Titanic 2 project will be a, a real uh, financial bonanza. So then I'll be faced with another problem on what to do with that amount of money, and I'll have to build Titanic 3. So there's a sequel. <laughs> OK? Thanks very much. Thank you.